Hey everybody, look what I have, a box. Now, I know what you're saying. What's in the box? Caden Brand's in the box. Let's talk about it. Is that you, bud? Hey, bud. Hey everybody and welcome back to the channel. So I'm pretty excited to be talking about the box that was sent to me by Caden Brand. Timothy Sung, the brainchild behind the company, saw a few of the channel's videos and he liked what he saw. He sent out a message to me saying, hey, I like what you did on these videos. Could you try our products? And I said, sure, send them to me. Um, I am not an ambassador for the company. I am not a paid spokesperson for the company, but I do love pool. So I've got some free stuff here, okay? Um, but I'll be giving you my opinion on it. Um, what this video is going to be is we're gonna be breaking down just the products that were sent in the box. We're gonna be talking about the history of the company, talking about Timothy and his history. Um, he may look young, but he's been, a, he's been around <laughs> for a little bit. So we'll talk about that. And then culminating at the end of the video, we're gonna talk about what the next video is gonna be. And that's gonna be the real fun one because I'm gonna be taking these tips and I'm gonna be getting them onto the cues of real players. And I'm gonna be looking for their real opinions on them. They're not paid people, they're just real pool players. And these tips, they've been a hard item to find and that's because the demand is high. So that's a good sign. So let's get to it. So what was actually sent in the box? Well, it came with a nice 3M adhesive sticker Caden brand with the website. Now, in case you're wondering where that website is, um, they're not going to Wix to create their website. They're not going to some simple Joe Schmo who <laughs> builds websites in his basement. They're putting some serious time and thought into the website. So if you went to cadenbrand.com, you're not gonna find it right now. But when it does come out, they promise that it's going to be a website that's truly innovative. And that is their company motto, right? They want to be innovative. They want to offer something different, right? So it should be something really cool when it finally does come out. And I'm told that it's going to be coming out very soon. The burnishing pad is one of their first, if not the first product that they created. So we're going to be talking about the burnishing pad, the microfiber cloth. It's got the nice Caden brand logo right on the cloth the tip gauge we're going to be talking about came with which is kind of interesting i never thought that this would be something that i would carry around but i think it's actually a really cool idea so we'll talk about that the liquid shine which is going to be talked about in this video with these tips because they go hand in hand this is a really interesting one for me um, so we'll talk about that and then of course, in the box came the four fighter tips. Manufactured in Japan, that's where they have the factory. We've got the SS, which is the super soft. And then we've got the soft, the medium, and the hard, okay? So we'll be talking about those tips and we'll be breaking it down. So let's do a little history lesson about Caden Brand. So officially, they started in November 2022, but really, they've been around for a lot longer. They were in the shadows. They were silently watching, observing, and experimenting like mad scientists. So Timothy isn't uh, a totally green individual, right? He's been around the pool community for quite some time. So he was involved at TS Billiards. You could find that on YouTube. Admittedly, he says he hasn't done anything with his YouTube channel. That was just sort of a repository for some videos that he did and he's paid it literally no attention. But if you went to AZ Billiards and talked and asked about Timothy, you'd find lots of posts from him and you'd find lots of conversations. He's talked with people and he's a part of the pool community. So to get back to the company, basically, it started in 2016 when they started experimenting and trying to develop some products on their own. So let's look at their very first product, the leather burnishing pads. So 
The problem with most leather burnishing pads is that they have a rough underside. So you could do some damage if you're not careful and if you push a little bit too hard when you're doing the burnishing technique. So the underside on the Caden brand leather burnisher is more refined. So it doesn't affect the cue in the long run and also has a really perfect burnishing result. When you have oil and dirt building up on your carbon fiber shaft, use the Caden Magic Fiber Cloth. So what sets this Magic Fiber Cloth apart from the rest? Well, for me, I think it's a damn sexy logo that's on it, <laughs> for one. But what makes it unlike any others is that while others tend to smudge the oil and dirt all over the shafts, the Caden brand actually does some absorption. Why does it do that? Because they use a special Sea Island fiber. You can use this fiber repeatedly. So what does this mean? Well, after using it repeatedly, if you don't think that it's working properly anymore, no problem. Take it to the sink, get some dish soap on it, clean it, let it air dry. Don't throw it in your dryer, let it air dry, and it will work like new again. So this is a cool, cool product. It is best for cleaning carbon fiber shafts, they also recommend that you use alcohol pads to clean it thoroughly, then use the microfiber cloth to wipe the shaft down. But if you add a match, you're not gonna be pulling out alcoholic pads. So just use it during the match and it'll do a really good job. So when they sent me this, I really didn't know what to think about it but I think it's actually kind of cool. So you've got a ruler on the one side. So if you ever did have to measure anything, let's say you had a really close lag maybe, and you wanted to pull this out and measure to the rail. Yeah, you've got something to measure by, I guess. After actually really thinking about this, yeah, I mean, the tip diameter holes, I mean, that's interesting. I know that I got a 12.5 millimeter tip on my cue. You can use that, to see if you have slight mushrooming, right? So if it fits into that 12.5 millimeter and then all of a sudden it doesn't fit into that 12.5 millimeter hole, you know you've got some mushrooming or some slight mushrooming, right? Here's what's the most important part of this gauge here though, is the tip radiuses on the bottom of the gauge. So if you really want to get refined in what you prefer as a player, this is the perfect tool. I'll compare this to hockey players. Like hockey players, they have their sticks. They go to the manufacturers, they literally tell the manufacturers what kind of curve they want it, the width, the height they want, the weight of their shafts, everything. They go down and that's how in depth they go with their tool that they use. And there's no reason why you as a pool player can't go that in depth as well. So at the bottom of the gauge, you have four radiuses. 9, 9.5, 10.5, and 12, okay? So for example, on these fighter tips, Caden Brand recommends that you use a nine radius for optimal performance. But in the end, you are the user. You don't have to listen to them. But when I get the tip thrown on, I will. I'll, I'll tell Darcy at Kujo Customs, throw nine radius on it, okay? Because that's what they're recommending. So I'll, I'll take their word for it, okay? But if you like something different, you can get to learn the radius that you like playing with. And you can use this tool to check that radius. And if that radius changes, you can either fix it yourself or you can take it to your pool person that fixes your cues. But this is really interesting. It's credit card size. You can fit this into your wallet. You can fit this into your pool case, no problem. So I really like it. I think it's kind of cool. Ah yes, the elephant in the room, the fighter tips, the flagship product of Caden Brand. So let's talk about the fighter tips, okay? So what does Caden Brand say about tips generally in the market these days? And they say, basically they all have the same issue. Basically they say some tips hold their shape and some tips mushroom, but they all eventually have a glazing issue after two to three weeks. And I can attest to this, right? After some heavy play, eventually you'll have a miscue and then you'll be like, well, what happened there? And you'll look at your tip and it's glazed in a spot where you miscued. So your chalk didn't adhere to that spot. 
So that's just from heavy play and that's what happens to pool tips after a while. So what do I do? I go back to my bag, I grab my, my tip tool, I'll scuff up my tip and then it holds chalk for a little while until it starts glazing over again. <laughs> Caden Brand says that people are looking for a tip that not only lasts longer, but it can generate a good amount of power and spin towards the cue ball. And that's why the Zan Premium line is so popular, especially the Zan Hybrid Max tip. The only problem with the Zan Hybrid Max is the glazing issue after two to three weeks. So they speak very highly of the Zan. But what Caden Brand is saying is that they have cured the glazing issue. That has yet to be seen, okay? I have to practice with this tip and I have to play with it and we'll see. Eventually it's gonna happen but have they made a tip that can push that glazing issue off? That's my question. All of our products, except for the fighter tips, are made in Taiwan. They've outsourced it to a small factory in Japan where those tips are made. So what are they made out of? They are made out of pig skin that is 100% environmentally controlled leather. So that would make a difference. Most natural tan leather tips have a tendency to deform or change its shape more often due to less treatment to the leather. We use a unique compression method and thin layer design. So their layers are thinner than others is what they're saying to prevent that from happening. And our signature R2B sound layering technology offers a more pleasing contact sound. So they're saying that they have a different type of technology on the bottom of the tip. So basically the bottom three layers that are contacting your ferrule. Okay, so what does R2B mean? It means that the bottom three layers are R2B. So two layers of R2, and the R stands for resonance, and one booster layer. The liquid shine is made to be used in conjunction with the Caden burnishing pad. Okay, so what makes this so special? Well, what happens with other burnishing liquids is that they penetrate into the tip and you don't want penetration. I come from the welding background. You want penetration, right? <laughs> when it comes to burnishing liquids on tips, you don't want penetration because what ends up happening is you prematurely harden your tip. So yes, you are creating a barrier that's going to promote non-mushrooming, which is why you did it in the first place right? You don't want your tip to mushroom. However, basically you've changed the composition of your tip, right? You've made it harder because that liquid shine has penetrated into the tip. That is not what happens with Caden brand liquid shine. What they're saying is that they've developed a product that stays on the surface and when used with their burnishing pad, it creates a nice, pleasing, shiny surface, but it also does the job. It prevents mushrooming. So how do you use it? You shake the bottle well, and then you apply a thin coat to the whole edge of the tip so that it's completely covered. Then you wait one to two minutes for it to dry. Then you use a paper towel and wipe the excess liquid shine and burnish with the paper towel. Then to get a good shine, you grab the leather burnisher and you give it the final burnishing touch. Simple. So saying all of that, What's my opinion on it? In the end, the player is what counts, okay? So this has to get on to the cues of actual players and they need to feel, right? And it's been a hard product to get a hold of, okay? No one had it. Uh, I've talked to a few cue people in the city that actually do tips. They haven't been able to get their hands on these, okay? Because they're sold out. It's a hot ticket item, it blew up, okay? So that happens with new products, okay? It launched in, in late 2023 and it went like that, right? So you, you're new to a market, you don't know how to uh, judge the demand of a product. So I'm thinking they were conservative in the number that they produced and it went like hotcakes and people wanted more. So they've been busy trying to make these tips and apparently they're gonna be completely restocked sometime this month. Hopefully it's already happened, right? So that's what happens with supply and demand. So when you're a new company and you're taking all the risk, how much of a product do you create right off the hop? If it doesn't sell, are you stuck with that product, right? So that's 
a growing pain that every new company has to go through. But now they understand the demand and they're pumping it out. So as a distributor, I would be trying to get into the conversation with Caden Brand and see if you can get these tips into your little stock that you can offer them. You know what's funny is Darcy at Cujo Customs, um, I asked him about the tip burnishing liquid and you know what he said? He's like, ah, I just use spit. <laughs> I think in the past he's used these products before and what he found is basically what Caden Brand is saying is it hardened the tips prematurely. So he just uses spit, he says. But we will be using these, uh, the Caden Brand liquid shine for these experiments, throwing them onto the cues, okay? But that leads me to a story. It's story time. You know, I live in Canada, which is in North America. And there's a thing here in North America. So Caden Brand is a Taiwanese company. We've talked about it. There's a thing here in North America. It's true in multiple issues. And what it is, is if it's not built here, it's crap. So I'm gonna go back to a lesson that I learned in the welding industry. 2014, I was in Chicago at Fabtech. It's a huge convention and it's for the manufacturing industry. And a lot of it has to do with welding, okay? I had an entire entourage from the company, including the general manager, and it took literally days to walk through this. That's how big this convention is. And there were a lot of Asian companies that were at that time trying to break into the welding industry. And I'm talking about welding machines, but also the abrasives, grinding discs, buffing wheels, all those, like lots in the abrasives. And a lot of the people that we were walking with were like, it's garbage, it's trash, right? And finally, the general manager that we were working with he pulled us all aside and he said, look guys, this happened in the 80s in the car industry. This is what happens, okay? They may be behind us right now, but trust me, in the 80s, they learned. They took what they learned and they improved upon it. And now, Toyota is one of the best in the world, for example, right? And that's what happens in business. It is a good thing. Let's take it back to pool. This is a Taiwanese company. Does that mean that it's garbage? If you're a pool player in North America, I've got an honest question for you. Do you think that pool isn't played over there? That's an honest question. Pool's huge. It's everywhere. Jay Flowers, I've, I've said it before, okay? This is not a North American company. What did I hear when I first started shooting with this? When Andrew offered me that J Flowers Q to start with? Everyone says it's garbage. I'm telling you it's not garbage, okay? Uh, and, and, the, and the same with this. I have a sneaking suspicion simply because of the demand for these fighter tips. I don't think it's gonna be garbage. We'll find out in the next video. But that was story time, everybody. Okay. Also, something that goes along with this conversation that we're having is I started poking Timothy, uh, trying to get some extra information, some extra tidbits from him, right? So I asked for some, you know, can, can I have some photos of your operation, maybe some footage? And he came back with, I'd love to get that to you, but copying and knockoffs are a big problem in this part of the world. And we all know that to be true, right? There's fakes, knockoffs. You see it even on Amazon. Um, big, big problem. So he wasn't really in a hurry to show potentially something that someone could copy, take the product, improve upon it a little bit, maybe, and then repatent it. More likely, change it a bit and then patent it. And then he's losing money again. So big problem, and I get it. But in the end, in the end, the player is what counts. And these went like hotcakes, right? The demand was huge. So I'm not a chemist. I can't tell you about chemistries and hardnesses and everything that goes into the R2B technology. 
it doesn't matter to me. If it sounds better, if it doesn't mushroom, if it doesn't glisten as fast as others, that basically means that they've accomplished what they said. And that's what the company goal is all about. They want to be innovative and they want to bring new products that people haven't thought about or take products and just improve upon them. Okay. Um, I will throw a little extra tidbit there. He told me something that was actually really exciting. And I said, can I talk about that? He's like, please don't. So I won't. A man of my word, I'm not going to talk about it, but let me say this, that by the middle of 2024 or third quarter of 2024, look to Caden Brand for some really, really exciting news. Okay, that's all I'm going to say. I'm not allowed to say anymore. So I know I threw a ton of information at you there, but uh, I think it's really exciting that, you know, we've got a young company, a new company, a young upstart entrepreneur in Timothy Sung pushing this and trying to be innovative and offer quality products to the market. And the more products and the more innovation, the better. That's what I say. So yeah, I threw a lot of information at you, but I hope it, you know, taught you something. I know I learned from this video. So. Here's my call to action. Next video, and this is going to be the fun part, is yes, I'm going to be taking the soft tip for myself, okay? I'm going to be shooting with this tip myself, okay? So that one is reserved. But I'm going to put a Facebook post on Alberta Billiards here in my hometown, and I'm going to put it out there to three other players to see if they would like to be part of the next video, which is they will come down, we will get the tips thrown on their queue by Darcy at QJO Customs, and they have to shoot with these tips for a little while, like a month, okay? And it's not just gonna be a simple, they get a free tip. They have to agree to be part of the video and to be interviewed before and after, a little bit of footage, and we'll get the opinions of real players. These players, I would hope, are players that shoot with these specific hardness of tips. So for the SS tip, I would hope that the player, well, I'm not going to hope. The player that gets this tip is a player that plays with this hardness of tip. The hard tip is not going to be given to a person who plays with soft tips. It's going to be given to a person that plays with hard tips because I want them to make an accurate comparison. And that's what I'm going for. So that's what's going to happen next video. And it's just basically going to be real players talking about their experience with these tips and they're going to have homework. Okay. They're going to have to listen for the sound, compare the sound to what they're used to, because that's a big selling feature of these tips. And also look for the glistening issue. Look for the mushrooming issue. We're going to be using the Caden liquid shine when we throw these tips on. So, Watch for the mushrooming, watch for the glistening and how much it retains the chalk over the course of a month and also the sound. Okay. So that's everything. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you stuck around to the end. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please, by all means do that. It goes a long way in supporting me. And also it tells YouTube, Hey, get the video out there. Come on, get it out there. Okay. So in the meantime, in the between time, I'll catch you on the flip side.